This is the Great Pyramids game, and this is game number three from the Wonders of the World game series. This is a new series, Phys Ed Games Original. I hope you enjoy. This is for grades four to eight. You'll need mats, bean bags, scooters, hula hoops, and cones. So to start, you're going to split your playing area into something like this, using lines or cones in the middle circle, and you're going to start by building the Great Pyramids of Giza. So the first one is the big one, which everyone knows is the Khufu, and then there's the two others. Over here is the Kefre, and then the Menkori, or Menkori, or something, I'm not sure. Sorry, I apologize if I pronounce that wrong. But those are the three Great Pyramids, and you're going to use the exercise mats to build those. And uh, underneath the two on the side, you're going to be placing down a bunch of bean bags, and you're going to give those a point value of one point each. And then in the middle, in the big one, in the Great Pyramid, you're going to put down uh, maybe some yellow as gold colored, uh, worth three points each. And then you're going to make some teams, and the teams are going to be caravans. So we got caravans in Egypt, and we have three of them here, players it's anywhere from three, four, or five. And the idea in this game is the caravans are going to try and go to the uh, different uh, pyramids and steal the treasure that's buried with the pharaoh at the bottom of the uh, pyramid. And so that's the main idea. We see those are the, the pyramids with all the treasures. So they'll steal from there and try and bring them back to their little hula hoop that's their collection area and uh, bring those treasures back for points. It's not going to be so easy, though, because there is going to be another team you're going to have that starts, and you're going to rotate the te teams through that position. Those are the protectors, and they're actually uh, protecting that middle area only, um, not saying that they're not protecting the other pyramids on the far side, because they will be protecting, trying to stop players from getting all the way to the other side. But they're, uh, that's their guarding area there with all those little lines. Um, and yeah, and each team are they're also going to get one camel, and so the scooter is the camel, and that's going to be like their transport, their camel transport to uh, rescue. Uh, the sick players or the tagged players. It is a tag game, and when players get tagged, uh, they'll have to be saved by the camel transport. Okay, so we're going to take a look uh, on the on the go signal. Everyone will be going at the same time. You don't have to go one player at a time. Just everyone. Uh, it's kind of a mass game all at the same time. But for ease ease here, we're going to look. One situation is if a player makes it across through the middle and all the way to the far side, they can grab one bean bag. You can always only grab one bean ba bean bag at a time and try and safely make it back, which that player did. They did not get tagged. So then if that happens in that scenario, then they get to add that beanbag to their hoop. Another scenario is if a player has gone and entered and into the middle area without getting caught. And it's a little bit trickier because those guards are probably going to be guarding that a little bit stronger. And uh, if they can do that and make it out with that beanbag without getting caught, then that beanbag is now theirs. So again, those two lines are very important. Those are the most two important lines in the game because those players in the green team, the protectors, can only protect inside those those lines. So another situation a player has tried to cross and they get caught. So if a player gets caught, so just tagged while they're in that area, then that player, that orange player, will be stuck there until the camel comes and gets on the scooter. Now the camel cannot get tagged and the player who's getting rescued cannot get tagged again. They, they get rescued, brought back all the way to their hula hoop. They have to touch the hula hoop and then that player is free to continue playing. So the player who's the camel, and you, they can switch switch it up or however you want to do that as time goes on. Now if a player makes it all the way through, so they didn't get caught on the way through, but grabs a bean bag and then on the way back gets caught. Okay, well then that player, they have to first, what they're going to do is they're going to bring the bean bag back, place it nicely under the pyramid, and then they're going to go back to where they got caught, and they're stuck there until that camel rescues them. So another uh, situation here is a player can enter that middle area and uh, and use that area, not grab a bean bag, but use it sort of as a safe area until they're safe to come on out to the other side. And they can do that. That's totally fine. Or a player can go all the way across, and if they decide they are not going to grab a bean bag or a treasure and decide, ah, maybe I'll try and sneak in the middle, and they can do that and grab a bean bag from there. But if a player goes and grabs a bean bag from one of the far pyramids, they are not allowed to then go and try and take that uh, safe spot in the middle there before proceeding back. If they do, there. So if they grab a bean bag from the far side, they either have to, they can bounce back and forth between that line, or just try and make it back to their original spot and uh, bring that point home. And you go for a certain amount of time. You could put a time limit up for each group, or you can go until all the treasures are gone and uh, switch it up. Depending on your area, you might have to shrink things or make things bigger and, and play with it. But uh, yeah, that's the idea for the Great Pyramids. Really hope you've enjoyed this game. If you have, please subscribe for more games and visit physedgames.com.